hi guys so i'm sure there are a lot of at tutorials out there that have gone in depth with the builder tweaks and some of the superpowers of at um if you want to know more about at kindly visit magazine's channel that is where i learned most of the things i know from and if you're watching this and you want more information kindly join us in the facebook um group there's always lots of discussions there where um, Maxim is always answering people's queries. So I'm sure most of you might be watching this because you're already in the AT group. So let me stop ranting about that and get to business. So AT color, that is what I'll be touching on today. This is the AT color palette, which most of us know how it works. What AT does is that it creates a custom post type called colors so that anytime we create color palettes, we can always export it by coming to tools, export. Then you can just export the color palette, download it and import it back. So let me just get that out of the way. So if you already know about the colors, you could always export the color and re-import it. So let's create our first color. I'm going to click on add color palette as usual. I'll call it 80 color demo. Then beforehand, I prepared some. So I prepared some colors. So I'm going to copy them from my other screen primary. Add new color secondary. Let's say add an action color that <laughs> become me an action color. Then I would paste in the action color black and white. My white, of course, you can call it anything. So FFF, then my blacks. There is a zero settings will enable shades will enable dark will publish it we just created our first color palette we'll come into our pages we'll go to all pages i created an 80 color demo so i'm just going to open link in a new tab forgive me i'm always used to opening link in a new tab so that i can always quickly jump back and forth so I just created a section within a section is a container with a dark. So you type button, dark mode, then a container, then a block. And the container is set to grid, gap of 32, repeat seven, min max zero and one FR. I'm using min max because of this. Without the min max, when you put in a long test like so, and I go to container, and let's say I remove min max, and I just make it one fr, cut one fr. This is what happens. So a cool tip or a cool trick. So min max zero one fr locks it. That way, even if the test is long, it doesn't cross across it doesn't run across so let's let me stop talking about that that is why we came here so i'm going to duplicate this block six extra times to mimic how at lays its color palette so the primary the light one let me just go through it and come back later so primary l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 l6 i'm duplicating it and i'll go through then this would always be the same as this so the d1 then d2 i'll pause and come back later so the d6 was done i'll save it view on front end by the way all this is powered by 80 of course so 
when I toggle it, what happens is that the genius my magazine. This is what he does. When I scroll down, I have my own frameworks loading in the background. But from here, let's go to roots to here. I'm going to copy just in case somebody doesn't really have WP code box. You can use VS code to play with it and actually import it back. So primary L1 to L6, D1 to D6, the same for all. And by the way, if you want to know how these colors are generated, um, Magazine is using something similar. This is how I was able to detect it. But when you go to shadow, I'll drop the link in the description. When you come to your 80 color palette, then we let's say we copy all these to here. Copy. Let me create a new test file. Drop it there. Just to confirm. So these are dark variables. Cool. So 80 at 10 percent, uh, 80 at white and black to our colors from the top here is 10 percent, 20 percent. You can confirm yourself, pause it and confirm 40, 60, 80, 90. Then the same thing ag again in the dark variables, he adds 10. 20 40 60 80 and 90 to 90 so that is how it is so for some reason if you want to play around it yourself that is how the color shades are created now when you inspect and you toggle on this dark mode 80 at this class this very class body So the same colors will become something like this. Let's confirm. When we scroll down, I was playing with it. So before recording, I was actually playing with it. So when I inspect, this is 80 is on from here, body. So you can confirm. Then he just duplicates all these color blocks or the system duplicates all these color blocks like so with the same light and dark. So with this, you can use VS code to actually tweak the So primary, the dark version is also primary. That is why when you toggle on the dark version, this never changes because in the system, the dark is the same color, but the light L1 would use the D1. L2 will use the D2, like so. So L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6, D1, D2, D3, D4, D5, D6. That is how it's working in the back end. So having knowing that you can customize 80 to your heart's content. So for some reason, if you don't like how the dark and light mode is working, if you're in the preview mode, kindly delete it and get the actual URL. Then from here, you can enable the front end playground. Click on this button. Then we are in the sun, so light mode. You can always change the light modes even from the playground. You can even change the shade. So for some reason, if you don't like the, it's currently primary 10%. So plus 10% white, 20% white, 40, 60, 80% white, 90% white. You can reveal it. Then put in your own hair code. It is fully customizable. The same applies to the dark mode. So the dark mode is just the primary is primary. The all one is now the D1 d2 
D3. That is how it is working in the back end. But for some reason, if I want to, let's say, change the this L1 to so this is my L1, even in the dark mode. Yes, in the dark mode, if you want to change the L1. So this is the light. This is L1. In the dark mode, you can. So we are seeing L1 here, but it is D1. It was just taking a D1, but you can change the L1's dark mode by coming here. So let's say this. So light, dark. So in a dark mode, L2, you get the idea. So in the light, in the dark. So you can go through and change whatever you like yourself. You are not constrained to it. But if you don't change it, that is when L1 become L2. But you can actually go and change every L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, L6 dark mode using the playground. Then when you are done, you click on this export button so this export button then around here you can copy this into come here here then you paste it here update it for us to see the color in place we did it in the playground but we've applied the setting Let's just copy this, paste it back, and remove the BRX, that is the playground URL. Then you can see it is affected. You come back and you delete it, update it. The same URL. But I'll open it in a new tab to confirm here. It is going back to the first one. It's no longer this. So that's the first way. The second way that I normally like to use is to just copy the BRX dark variation so for the when the body is dark the pl1 now becomes this it's no longer going to use the d the d ones variable you can now specify what you like you copy it come back then you can even use breaks settings custom code i was playing with it here so you know you know you don't need that with this code body breaks dark the p1 is now this the l the primary light one is now this primary light two is now this so you can go through and customize it to your heart content so i'll press save and now this that wasn't working when i copy the url paste it press enter it should become like this so these are the two ways to update your color variables yourself now you have the power to actually do whatever you like so one thing you could do is that you could let's say use your base colors so another thing to also note when you're working with 80 colors now that you know how it works if you don't have time you can just let's say come to the section this is what i just changed so this very one save it view it on the front end you are seeing it because we've affected it so if you don't have time to change them all you can just change a few like whatever your base colors you can change your base colors a few of your base colors by referencing the the name so the base colors i'm using black and white so you could use white for your background then for the dark mode if you're using maybe l1 or the l2 or whatever version you like you can just playground that variation and it automatically it will automatically apply so example is this I'll use white one for all my backgrounds. Save. Come back to 80 colors. White one is this. The dark mode is E6, E6. Automatically on the front end in the dark mode is going to apply 
E6. That is how it is working. So if for some reason you use white, in this instance, when I say white, it's white light one or white white L1 will give you white D1. So that same accord. So if I were you and you don't want so much work, you don't want to get your hands dirty, you just use let's say you create one shade for your background. Then let's say white or black or whatever you like. So you create one for your white, then you just go and use this BRX hyphen dark then reference the color that you normally use or you want to convert to dark mode then you just use the 80 color the front end play ground where is it i, I had it open so here I'm use this one instead so the front end playground then you go to your white in a dark mode here the L1 that you will constantly be using, you can just change it to something else. This is the cheapest way. So, when you change the white L1, export it. This is the code. Or you can copy this code alone and just replace it here. Save now when you reload it it's all good dark mode it's going to be that color to make it more obvious let's just use red try to be obvious save get one of these reload red that is how it is working so um for beginners this should get you up and running with that dark and light mode but what if we can go a little further if you're like me and let's say you don't even want to have all these all these light and dark variations let's do it the hard way um we are 17 minutes into it i guess i would just pause the superpowers to the next video so in the next video i'll show you how you can even avoid all these 80 color palette it's going to be a little difficult to set it up but if you know how to set it up you can control your colors you can control your spacing you can control everything you can start creating your own css and import them into 80. so let me just end it here this is an introduction to 80s colors in the next one where we'll actually be creating our own custom framework so from start i just explain what i what i know about 80s colors spacing and even create your own custom css variables then we will import it into 80. so if that sounds interesting then maybe you could join me in the next video see you there